What's the most horrifying thing about narcissistic abuse? The most horrifying thing about narcissistic abuse is that it can have long-lasting, devastating effects on the victim's mental and emotional well-being. Narcissistic abuse often involves a pattern of manipulation, control, and psychological and emotional trauma that can leave the victim feeling worthless, insecure, and constantly questioning their own thoughts and feelings. This can lead to symptoms such as anxiety, depression, low self-esteem, and even post-traumatic stress disorder PTSD. The scars of narcissistic abuse can be extremely difficult to heal and can have a lasting impact on a person's life. What are the lasting effects? The lasting effects of narcissistic abuse can include psychological trauma. The victim may experience anxiety, depression, low self-esteem, and symptoms of post-traumatic stress disorder PTSD. These experiences can lead to the development of psychological trauma, which can manifest in symptoms such as anxiety, depression, intrusive thoughts, nightmares, and difficulties with trust and attachment. With proper treatment and support, however, it is possible to recover from psychological trauma and regain a sense of control and well-being. Psychological trauma can affect the way the brain processes information, leading to changes in brain function and behavior. It can actually cause brain damage. Before we get into further details, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe so we can spread awareness about narcissistic abuse, it saves lives. Difficulty in trusting others is another effect. The victim may struggle to trust others after experiencing the manipulative and deceitful nature of the narcissist. Trauma can cause the victim to struggle with regulating their emotions, leading to mood swings, irritability, and impulsiveness. Trauma can alter the way a person thinks about themselves, others, and the world, leading to negative thought patterns and beliefs. Trauma survivors may engage in avoidance behaviors, such as withdrawing from social situations, in order to cope with their trauma. Trauma can result in physical symptoms, such as headaches, fatigue, and digestive problems, as well as sleep disturbances and changes in appetite. Psychological trauma can have long-term effects on a person's mental and emotional well-being, as well as their relationships and daily functioning. It. It is important to understand that psychological trauma is a normal reaction to an abnormal event or situation and that recovery is possible. Therapy and support from loved ones can help the victim to process and work through their trauma, regain a sense of control, and ultimately move forward in their lives. Another effect is emotional dysregulation. The victim may struggle with regulating their emotions, leading to mood swings and outbursts. Narcissistic abuse can lead to difficulty in regulating emotions because the abuse often causes emotional trauma and psychological distress. Narcissists may use emotional manipulation, gaslighting, and other tactics to control and exploit their victims, causing them to feel confused, disoriented, and unstable. As a result, individuals who have been subjected to narcissistic abuse may struggle with feelings of anger, anxiety, depression, low self-esteem, and trust issues, among others. Additionally, they may also have trouble recognizing and managing their own emotions, leading to a cycle of emotional dysregulation. It is important for individuals who have experienced narcissistic abuse to seek support from a mental health professional to help them process their experiences and develop healthy coping strategies for regulating their emotions difficulty with self-worth. The victim may internalize the negative messages they received from the narcissist and struggle with feelings of worthlessness and insecurity. Mood swings. An individual may experience sudden changes in mood, going from happy to sad, angry to calm, or vice versa. After narcissistic abuse, a person may have difficulty controlling their emotions, leading to feelings that are stronger and longer lasting than normal. An individual may react to stress or triggers with intense and explosive emotional reactions, such as shouting, crying, or lashing out. After narcissistic abuse, a person may have a hard time handling stress, and may feel overwhelmed, anxious, or panicked in response to everyday situations. Severe cases, emotional dysregulation after narcissistic abuse can lead to self-harm or suicidal thoughts. The victim may also struggle to form and maintain healthy relationships, as they may have a distorted view of what a healthy relationship looks like. People who have experienced narcissistic abuse often struggle with relationships after the abuse because of the emotional and psychological trauma that they have experienced. 
Some common ways that individuals may struggle with relationships can include having trust issues. Trusting others can be difficult after narcissistic abuse, as the person may have been manipulated and betrayed by their abuser. Another way people can struggle with relationships after narc abuse is fear of abandonment. The victim may have been subjected to emotional manipulation and abandonment tactics, leading to a fear of being rejected or left alone. Victims can have issues with intimacy. Narcissistic abuse can lead to feelings of shame, low self-esteem, and emotional numbness, making it difficult for the victim to form intimate connections with others. They also might not be able to recognize abuse. After being subjected to gaslighting and manipulation tactics, a person may struggle to recognize and acknowledge abuse in future relationships. Setting and maintaining healthy boundaries can be difficult for individuals who have experienced narcissistic abuse, as they may have been subjected to boundary-violating behavior. It is important for individuals who have experienced narcissistic abuse to seek support from a mental health professional to help them process their experiences and develop healthy coping strategies for relationships. With time, therapy, and self-reflection, many individuals are able to overcome these struggles and form healthy, fulfilling relationships in the future. The aftermath of narc abuse can also include a negative impact on self-esteem. The victim may experience a decline in self-esteem and self-worth, which can affect their ability to succeed in personal and professional life. Emotional regulation after narc abuse Narcissistic abuse can lead to difficulty in regulating emotions because the abuse often causes emotional trauma and psychological distress. Narcissists may use emotional manipulation, gaslighting, and other tactics to control and exploit their victims, causing them to feel confused, disoriented, and unstable. As a result, individuals who have been subjected to narcissistic abuse may struggle with feelings of anger, anxiety, depression, low self-esteem, and trust issues, among others. Additionally, they may also have trouble recognizing and managing their own emotions, leading to a cycle of emotional dysregulation. It is important for individuals who have experienced narcissistic abuse to seek support from a mental health professional to help them process their experiences and develop healthy coping strategies for regulating their emotions. Emotional dysregulation after narcissistic abuse can manifest in a variety of ways, including mood swings. An individual may experience sudden changes in mood, going from happy to sad, angry to calm, or vice versa. Victims can have intense and persistent feelings. After narcissistic abuse, a person may have difficulty controlling their emotions, leading to feelings that are stronger and longer lasting than normal. Emotional outbursts can be common after narc abuse. An individual may react to stress or triggers with intense and explosive emotional reactions, such as shouting, crying, or lashing out. It can be difficult for victims to manage stress. After narcissistic abuse, a person may have a hard time handling stress, and may feel overwhelmed, anxious, or panicked in response to everyday situations. Victims can also engage in self-harm or have suicidal thoughts. In severe cases, emotional dysregulation after narcissistic abuse can lead to self-harm or suicidal thoughts. It is important to remember that everyone's experience with emotional dysregulation is unique and may differ in severity and symptoms. Seeking the help of a mental health professional can be an effective way to address these symptoms and improve emotional regulation after narcissistic abuse. People who have experienced narcissistic abuse often struggle with relationships after the abuse because of the emotional and psychological trauma that they have experienced. Some common ways that individuals may struggle with relationships include having trust issues. Trusting others can be difficult after narcissistic abuse, as the person may have been manipulated and betrayed by their abuser. Victims can fear abandonment. The victim may have been subjected to emotional manipulation and abandonment tactics, leading to a fear of being rejected or left alone. Abuse victims can also struggle with intimacy. Narcissistic abuse can lead to feelings of shame, low self-esteem, and emotional numbness, making it difficult for the victim to form intimate connections with others. They also have the inability to recognize abuse. After being subjected to gaslighting and manipulation tactics, a person may struggle to recognize and acknowledge abuse in future relationships. Setting and maintaining healthy boundaries can be difficult for individuals who have experienced narcissistic abuse, as they may have been subjected to boundary-violating behavior. 
It is important for individuals who have experienced narcissistic abuse to seek support from a mental health professional to help them process their experiences and develop healthy coping strategies for relationships. With time, therapy, and self-reflection, many individuals are able to overcome these struggles and form healthy, fulfilling relationships in the future. The aftermath of narcissistic abuse can have a significant impact on a person's self-esteem. Narcissistic abuse often involves tactics such as gaslighting, manipulation, and criticism, which can erode a person's sense of self-worth and leave them feeling confused, isolated, and worthless. This abuse can also cause the victim to question their own perception of reality and their ability to make decisions, further damaging their self-esteem. The victim may also experience feelings of shame and guilt, leading to a belief that they are to blame for the abuse. These negative beliefs and feelings can become internalized and deeply ingrained, leading to a persistent and pervasive sense of low self-esteem. However, it is possible to rebuild self-esteem after narcissistic abuse with the help of therapy and self-care. A mental health professional can help the victim process their experiences and challenge the negative beliefs that have developed as a result of the abuse. Engaging in activities that bring joy and a sense of accomplishment, such as hobbies or volunteering, can also help to boost self-esteem and promote a positive self-image. Additionally, surrounding oneself with supportive and empowering individuals can provide a source of encouragement and validation. Through a combination of therapy and self-care, Individuals can work towards overcoming the negative effects of narcissistic abuse on their self-esteem and developing a healthy and positive sense of self. These effects can be long-lasting and difficult to overcome, but with the help of therapy and support from loved ones, it is possible to heal from narcissistic abuse. Like and subscribe to spread awareness about narc abuse. Thank you for watching.